new episodes and probably play The Witcher. Or we start a new series. Either one, either way. Either way. I need to get an I need to get a light. My my room is way too dark. Penguin would have just beaten me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. And if Batman hadn't been there, I would be... Of course, the doctors aren't thrilled about me leaving. My therapist is worried the drug might have caused some issues to resurface. Make them unmanageable. Yeah, it, it did. You are an absolutely psychotic. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. So you hired the worst person imaginable. Oswald Cobblepot. You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D. Let me know if anything comes up. You're a good man, Bruce. <laughs> yeah, that's why she fucked me. Look, look at that smile. She knew exactly. What she wanted. I, I had no control. Please, she she, she just had a way with me. I have to tell you how I. Bruce? You should come stay with me. I'll think about it. Dropped your pen. That's not. Okay. <sighs> Vicky injected the roids right into my veins. I, I didn't even have like, a say. She just, she was like, I think it's time you name my real name. I really don't want to know your real name, Vicky. I am Lady Arkham. I am Batman. That was the worst possible impression. I'm sorry. You have to face the truth sometime. Retribution, Bruce. <laughs> I'm in Arkham Asylum now. For Christ's sake, put some clothes on. Doctor's making the rounds soon. Doctor? What doctor? Yeah. I like how no one, like, questioned, like, my arm. Like, look at my fucking arm. The veins are showing. Looks like someone was angry. Yeah, you. Lovely. Uh, jump there. Arkham Asylum. This can't be happening. This can't be real. Yo, what I'd be doing when I get out of the, uh... Arkham Asylums, I'd be suing um, uh, my own company. Actually, no, take that. Take that back. I wouldn't be suing. I'd be sacking the entire board. I'd be getting rid of everyone on it. Everyone's got to go.
watched. Is that my blood? Most likely. God, I hope it's mine. You better be decent. You settled? Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. Of course, why I could I make an exception for you. You can tell me why I'm in Arkham Asylum for a start. What? Rich boy doesn't remember? Oswald Cobblepot? You beat him to a bloody pulp. Nearly killed him. Good. Landed you here. Any of this ringing a bell? No. Might as well get comfortable. I like this how no one, now. like, fucking questioned that I could have been drugged. Neighbors. Oh, great. Oh, yeah, oh, uh, fuck. Oh, yeah, these guys are getting an ass with me. Um, Eddie, Miney. Your father. Don't tell you about me. Way! Get away from my penis. Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing me. I hope to God there is a hell. So sick of this. I am so sick of everyone blaming me for what my father did. I'm not him. Hurting me does nothing. Maybe not, but you're the next best thing, Wayne. Hey, jerk on you, I'm actually not a Wayne. Take the room, take the room, take the room, take the room. Oh, fuck. What is going on in here? It's like I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy is tougher than he looks. I'll take right, a hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bruce, yeah. is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. Yeah, I did this. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. We have a very strict no-fighting policy here in Arkham. If you can't obey that rule, you're going to find yourself in hot water fast. Well, maybe, um, keep an eye on your fucking staff. Before, took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. Us nice guys gotta stick together. I Am I right? I'll be Thank nice, you. I'll be nice, I'll be nice. I'll I appreciate nice. the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. So when do well, I get to meet off the boat? new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. When do I meet Oscar? I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? You just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> it's Joker. Did, well, isn't Joker one of his aliases named John Doe? John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole night. Oh, he's gonna rape me. He's gonna bend me over a fucking... <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. For There's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! <laughs> You know, 
Doc, our last session was so enlightening. That's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. Uh, I like how the, the uh, we got doctors in here and they haven't even oh. noticed that I've been drunk. <laughs> Every day, Doctor. Every day. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! Oh, we got a cannibal. You gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. I also bite. You remember the first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leela? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well... <laughs> No, you, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill me. You don't know the president. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number to this. Stop. I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leela. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, my God. Here we go, so it's not that far. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> All of us are meant to be crazy, besides me. But everyone's friendly. Mostly. I'd watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. Thanks for the, Thanks for the heads up. I appreciate you showing oh, me around. Oh, deserves. I'm a giver. <laughs> what can I say? I always try to keep an eye out for new guys. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. <laughs> Favorite shows on never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up. Where is the remote? One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Ooh, I almost forgot. Here. What is this? So, is it true that, like, to smuggle stuff like that around, you have to, like, put it in your ass? Because I doubt these have, like, my outfits. The, what they what they're, um, wearing have pockets. That's the way the Fane Lewis, Arnold Wesker, Cookie Crumbs. Billy, that's it. That's Victor's <laughs> ass. Yes! I cracked it! Shh, shh, Lewis. <sighs> well, this dude's Batman cool. really did a number on this guy. Just let him be. I saw the cookie pebble, not you. Sorry, sorry. He cheats. Every time, he cheats. Sees what I'm thinking. Mind control. Cheater! I told you. If I could read minds, I certainly wouldn't waste my time on yours. Uh, that is fair. Do I just start using the key on everything? Not the right key for this. Me? I missed you. 
Yo, if he starts calling me tight cheek, that's it. It's game over. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. Yeah, Harvey. Never anything good on, is there? Wait, that's the move you're going to make, huh? Yeah. didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> you tried it though, didn't you? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local sky trade depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one, this one, has become a lot more interesting lately. In it my God, -faced. no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. <laughs> Double crossing, two faced. I thought you and the mayor were friends. Yeah, kind of. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I, mean, I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. He is the reason I am in here. I can't believe he did this. Quite the temper on you. I have one too. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television. Mayor on our frame page versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Ah, oh, oh my god! I'm not saying Won't anything. someone save my baby? They should be selling tickets to this! Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, he knows something. You know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Can you revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Hey, V, tell me what you know. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. Yo, he, yeah, no, 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 no. He's actually gonna bend now, me over. Bruce, He's gonna I bend me over a table. There's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. Who I did? If those cops had dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. After everything Oswald has done to me, yeah, I'm kind of glad it happened, because he deserved it. Am I glad to see you embracing those feelings. They're very natural. Especially a guy like you, who clearly takes after his father. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad Fair enough. bump off her parents. Why would my father have the veils killed? I said he killed the Vales. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her 
parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Isn't Surely it like everything was fabricated though? Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty yes, dark I can stuff. Yeah, I can relate to that. Tragedy can be a powerful motivation. I knew it. I knew it. Very good instincts on this sort of thing. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gotta be fantastic. You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. True. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I can... <sighs> Assume I can take care of that. But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Just one. Yep. Yeah, yeah, sure, that seems fair. Sure. One favor, that seems fair. Excellent. We'll have loads of fun. You'll see. Yeah, he's definitely going to bend me over. I'm going to make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bet. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? Ah! Oh, shit. No. No, 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 I don't match it. Oh, God, I don't match. You can fix that right now. Your skin feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to get Need to get rid of it! Stop! Someone give me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> Call security! Oh shit, I just got someone killed. He's in the Gordon connection. GCPD. Gordon, it's Bruce Wayne. Wayne? Aren't you supposed to be in Arkham Asylum? Listen, Gordon, I haven't lost my mind. I was drugged. The same drug the children of Arkham used on Montoya and Harvey Dent. You get me out of here, and I'm willing to testify. Uh, this might help our case, actually. That makes three victims now. And Renee says she's got some new evidence. If you're willing to testify, I think I can get you out of there. Thanks. Of course I'm willing to testify anything to get me the fuck out. I have to go. <laughs> oh, Bruce. I have not had this much fun in ages. Let me tell you how to find Vicky's stash of missing drugs. Okay. Ask the fails. Quickly, come on. Good luck on the outside, Bruce. I just know you're gonna put on quite the show. Yeah, so he knows I'm Batman, surely. <laughs> Pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. Damn. Well then, where were you? If you're looking for who to blame, maybe start with the mirror, because you're the one that left violent psychotics unattended. Mr. Wayne, I understand you have been through a trying day, but that does not give you the freedom to criticize me or this facility in that way. Yeah, can. Because from my perspective, my patients were fine until you went into that rec room today. 
One moment. <laughs> I gotta go free, bitch. <laughs> gang, gang. <laughs> Seems you have a visitor. <gasps> Alfred! Alfred. Ah, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You'll see everything is in order. Signed this morning with Lieutenant Gordon of the GCPD. He is to be released into my care. I know it seems like using your power and influence is the best way to make this all go away. But it's just avoiding the problem. What I'm happened with mad. those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. I had nothing to do he with that. He needs extensive evaluation. Treatment. Dr. Leland, you know it isn't safe for me here. Look at what happened today. That won't be the last time. That may be true, but I would never let that hinder someone from getting the help they need. I'm afraid it's out of your hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. She, yeah, she's working with Vicky Vale. I will see you on the outside, Bruce. I can't wait! What's that about? <laughs> Talk to you later, Alfred. Well, I just can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. Did Lieutenant Gordon hear about this lead when he let you out? Not yet. Batman will handle this one first. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. So many people angry at me. Entire family. I just hope I can turn it around. I'm sure you'll figure something out. You always do. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, great. He's going to hire a hit. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. I'll be fine, Harvey. I can handle myself. I don't think you understand the danger you're in. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared, panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Harvey, how about we just agree to go our separate ways, all right? You think you can just walk away from me? Just like that, after everything you've done? Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. That isn't how I wanted things to go down either, Harvey. And I'm really sorry they did, but that is no excuse for this ridiculous crusade against me. I don't need an excuse. You're a criminal, and I'm coming for you. Bruce? Bruce! We're done talking. What's going on here? Uh oh. <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. If we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. 
Go ahead. They have nothing to hide. Doesn't sound like it. Besides, everyone's hiding something. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car. Of course. Should have known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next cobble pot. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart. I don't want trouble. I am tired. I am hungry. I haven't showered in three days. I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to God, I will have this car run you over and then back up again. Whoa, just whoa, to make sure it did whoa, the job. Whoa, Bruce, whoa. Shut up, Alfred. I can handle this. Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me. Yeah, I filmed the whole thing. They should lock you up. Oh, God. I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. Nowhere to run, dirtbag. Next one won't be a warning shot. All right. Now, the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, okay. Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded, hmm? And well-armed? What do you how, say? How much are we talking? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? The mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. I'll pay off the Here. Sure. It's everything I have, okay? Sure, that'll work. This isn't over. Yeah, sure. Take it up with City Hall. Breaking up with me. Oh, hey, monkey. What do you mean you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost. Yeah, no, no, I don't understand All why the, the fuck he yelling about how you want to be insane. brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like uh, laying low to you? You can handle Funny, yourself. I thought you could handle yourself. Oh, I can. I just also know when it's time to make myself scarce. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah? Don't get me wrong, Bruce. The night was a lot of fun, but... Oh, uh, yo, jeez! Not worth dying for. He's dangerous. I, uh... Got it. Sometimes you gotta know I when understand. to let it go. I don't like it, but I understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. But boy, are those puppy dog eyes breaking my heart right now. <laughs> so where are you gonna go? I've got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Of course. That's my car. Down. See you around. Good luck with all of this. I've been good. How are you? I'm fine, okay? I just need to get to the computer. I like how no I'm one's exhausted. picked up. There's a fucking my, the influence giant, of my entire is left arm. It's just yeah. one giant vein at this point. You've seen the way it's still affecting Harvey. He's a paranoid wreck. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. That's good to You're hear. in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. Uh, then help me. Help me. Feels like the whole damn cave was coming down around me. Of course I'll help. 
Let's start by addressing the problem at hand. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Bell's drug. Yes, of course. If I can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Start a DNA scan. Compare it to my DNA on file in the back computer. I'll make the preparations. You, you want to know, did did Bruce Wayne teach Alfred all this techie shit? Because as if Alfred knows how to operate a computer. Here's my DNA before the incident. Damn. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. This cure is based on my DNA. It'll only work for me. To cure other people, we'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them... I don't even know what I just did. That should do it. You're about, about to dose up on some roids. This needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Why are you doing it on your wrong arm? <laughs> that works fast. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work, Alfred. Feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky... Lady Arkham has been up to while I've been away. I mean, her real name Search is Search for all Bailey. children of Arkham Dickie. recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I never trusted her. I never trusted her. There was always something off. Your instincts are very rarely wrong, sir. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me. Wasn't well, it fabricated, though? Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station. Dad? And I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true. She may be more dangerous than ever. I have a feeling it's fabricated. I, I uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think yeah, you can trust tip. someone in Arkham Asylum? This guy, the yes. Offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. I suppose that's not something we can ignore, trustworthy or not. Alfred, you're such a skeptical. It's if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. If the Vales still live in Gotham, they should be easy enough to locate. Got it. Bruce! Yeah? If you do find Miss Vale, please, be careful. No! What? No! I'm not gonna be careful! I'm gonna absolutely pound her into the ground. And that seems like I'm going to go to prison now. So this place is a mess. I'm inside the Vale House. Kind of looks like the... The how uh, the house in um what's it called um the flash show what is it the the west house damn damn 
Damn, she got no eyes. Alfred, the veils are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Oh, that's okay. right. Vicky's real name is I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Awesome. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes. But this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. Yeah. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. Yeah, where where if they were stabbed out, where There's where an are injection they? wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Um that same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Okay. Uh, blood splatter. Here Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait. There's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown. Nothing I can see. From the fridge. Whoa, hair, wait, hair? hair. I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It's it was Vicky's. cut at a downward angle. Probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. No. You're the world's greatest detective and you can't even bring back the hair back to the back cave and run like a forensic scan on it. Fucking hell. It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? Uh, because, um, I, I wonder why, Alfred. This table here obviously was never meant to be here. And body number two? Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. no. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Looks like a company logo. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Damn. Oh, I don't know, but couldn't that belt be the blood splatter over here? So, yeah, surely. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. What, what, what would have to go through your mind to go to your parents' house? Or your foster parents, whatever. The people who fucking raised you. Whip out a belt and absolutely beat them to death. Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Yeah, then you then you know it's Vicky's hair. Pick it up. It, it that is evidence that Vicky was in involved in this. Greatest detective, my ass. It's a letter from Gotham Social Services. I can't read that. About a monthly stipend for foster parents. Vicky's a bit old for that, isn't she? It's not for Vicky. They have a boy. This must be Vicky shortly after she was adopted. Oh, don't tell me she killed the boy as well. Yo. Okay, wait. Look at the couch. Look at the, oh my god, is that a, oh yeah, that's a nut stain. That's a nut stain right there. 
You get the black light out. We're searching every inch of this apartment. What do we link this to? Nothing to link this to. Um. Oh, what? Recent family photo. Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. No, oh, here we go. Now we can link it to the to the shirt. To the best. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we the stopped at the cute, rail station, no, no, Vicky no. needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To so, do you, that, so you killed at your father she just them for out that. Of the way, with Vicky Vell fully assuming her new identity on Lady Arkham. Seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. That's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she? Alfred, I think someone's still in the house. Yeah, the son. Going to look for a heat signature. Yo, I feel Anyone sorry for, here, for the for I'll the find for them. the for the uh the son. Clear. Nothing here. Imagine Lou. Fair enough, he's adopted, but imagine uh. Losing your parents. <laughs> Even though they were just um, foster parents, but still. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. Imagine he opens the fucking staircase and immediately starts pounding on the dumb child. He doesn't know who's in there. <laughs> He's like, oh shit. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. A boy from the photo. Is he all right? Fuck Aside from no. the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it Fuck with off. caution. Gonna be all right. It's gonna be okay. Gonna be all right. I'm sorry I scared you. It's going to be okay. Yeah. Yeah. I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I. I heard someone say something. Something about drugs. Fighting the police. I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because they hid in here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. Get down. <gasps> oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, great. Let me guess. You're 
trying to figure out our next move. Figure out where the drugs are. Did I get it? Am I close? Pathetic. I've got these little back traps all over the city. But I should have known a good double murder would be what brought you out in the open. saved my life. Nice work, kid. I swear that's not what I think it is. <gasps> oh shit. They're dead. It'll be better if you don't look. Oh. I'm sorry. They weren't always nice, but they gave me a place to live. I promise. I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. Then I'll pound their ass. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. Batman. Oh my god. He was the only survivor. Come Damn. on. Let's get you out of here. He saved me. Oh, Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter Vicky is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who was the boy then? That boy was the Vale's adopted son. According to the papers I found, they were receiving a pretty significant stipend. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything. But it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Yeah, like, it's time to pound a total plus ass. What's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not any more, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. He's on the I can't payroll. Risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. He's on the payroll. He's on the payroll. He's on the uh, couple pots payroll. It's Fanta Light Bread. No, it's not. It's just Fanta Zero Sugar. Is that what Fanta Light is? Fanta Light's just Zero Sugar. I don't know. And so your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. Alfred, get Lucius on the line for me, please. Of course. Let's get a closer look at you. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. Electricity conductor, everything looks functional. It should have worked. EMP functionality is all in the green. It was in the EMP, it was the drone. The drone had got an upgrade. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. 
This is something different. Bruce, I have Lucius on screen now. Good evening, Bruce. How can I help? I need you to see something. Sending you schematics. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, I am so sorry. I should have caught this, but he snuck right under my nose. Oh, what a mess. This is your fault. That sleaze Don't blame yourself, Lucius. Lucius is an absolute giga chad. I'm not going to blame slack, Lucius. Otherwise, There's I'll no way you could have known. I certainly don't blame you for it. Well, I still feel a little guilty. Don't Looks be, don't be, don't like be. like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord, that would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls. But if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're on to him. Cobblepot doesn't know we're on to him. We can't risk losing the element of surprise. I say you do what you need to do, as stealthily as possible. Good plan. I'll get on it right away. Thanks, Lucius. Bruce, you're going to want to see this. Okay, uh, excuse us, Lucius. Of course. Reports of children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne estate, so the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Wow. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city, or he will be removed. You, you can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. Harvey is scared. Paranoid, but he clearly views Batman in a favorable light. Then again, maybe talking to an old friend is what he needs. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable, random. Who no, knows how I'm going as Batman. I'm going as Batman. Tonight, Batman saves Bruce Wayne. Yes, about bloody time. Don't screw this up, Harvey. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. Why did I do that? I just can't... I just can't second-guess myself. Bit of a strange place to hang out, isn't it, Dent? Batman? Oh, you scared the hell out of me. It's good to see you. <laughs> I was just telling someone how much I'd love to get you on my payroll. You've gone too far. Leave Wayne alone. Wayne? What, is this about the whole seizing his assets thing? You're not gonna break my legs, are you? Of course not. <laughs> or maybe you're just gonna make threats. Words out that you don't get violent unless you have to. Calm down, Dad. I just wanna talk. Sounds good to me. I'll admit, I'm surprised to see you helping Wayne. Seems kinda small potatoes for you. Maybe you haven't seen the news, but he hasn't been the most upright citizen lately. Why should I do anything to help him? Save yourself. You're losing your mind, and everyone can see it, Dent. You want to save me? I protect everyone. So it seems. I guess I do owe you one. Wayne is just another curveball this stupid city threw my way. Hill and his goons, the Waynes, the children of Arkham. I'm finally starting to understand, to see just how sick Gotham really is. To save Gotham, I need to do some bad before it gets better. Uh oh. Ready to go. What are you doing? Do it. What did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. Man, we lost a bunch of our own kind! The apartment next door! 
Oh shit! Christ. That blast was way bigger than you said. We must have taken out a whole city block with it. We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. I feel like I should thank you. Seeing as you did give Gordon that tip. I don't care what your end goal was. Yeah, but even yo, one his down spiral was amazing. Cost, then you're thinking too small. I doubt the police would see it that way. There has been some conflict with the police, that's true. Like Gordon. Oh, he really wasn't happy when I went over his head to get the location of the drug stockpile. But I had him taken care of. <laughs> what did you say about Gordon? Uh oh. Oh shit! Where is he? Now, yeah. hang on. Where is he? Hang on. I had to make an example of him to get people to respect. Gordon is on Gotham's side, Harvey. He's fighting for this city too. Batman, I'm sorry. It's like I told you. I. Crime Alley. They took him to Crime Alley. What a doofus. <laughs> and here I thought we could work together. <laughs> Let's take a ride, gentlemen. Uh, he's going absolutely insane. What the hell is this? Here, Dent says you're getting in the way of protecting the city. Dent's got you brainwashed. No, he's trying to help. The children of Arkham are out of control, and no one, oh my no God. one is. <laughs> that was the weakest head butt I've ever seen. What a mess. Thank you. Batman. Save the thanks. And explain to me why I just watched half a city block go up in flames. Dent took out the warehouse with the drugs, the location that I gave that to you. Are you so accusing bad. me of something, Batman? Are you still knock them out. Just say it. Come on. Let's hear it. I'm not blaming Calm you, Gordon. Down, Gordon. Gordon. Calm okay, down. I'm trying to be so nice to Two people. Two of my in this own game. officers were just about to and they just, execute me. I, I say the, the nicest thing, and, and you're they pointing a finger at me. Tell me what you know. Like real life. By the time I got back to the precinct, Dent already had the information. He strong-armed it out of Commissioner Grogan. I didn't even have time to scratch my ass before I got hauled out here. Dent's position makes him dangerous. He's persuasive and he has power. Dent thinks that what he's doing <laughs> he's is got, best. He's maxed out his charisma. Execution, he's got plus 10 charisma. Martial law. I know. There's no saving him this time, Batman. There's no world in which he manages to set this right. There's no hope for a rabid dog. We need to lock him up and throw away the key. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is what it's come to. It's true. We need to lock him up. He's insane. We have a lot of work to do. Everything is such a goddamn mess. But we gotta start somewhere. Maybe Grogan can help us. Hey, Dent's still the mayor. And Grogan's a by-the-book cop. Grogan respects you. You're smart. Make him listen. <sighs> yeah. Gotta handle this first, though. We will get through this, Jim. I'm glad we're on the same side. <laughs> That's smug. Situation. I, I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. Now. Somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the back computer. <sighs> Hang on, Lucius. It's Alfred. I'm patching him in. Al, Lucius figured out how Penguin's cracking my security. He has a device that. I'm afraid we have another problem to deal with. Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and oh, he's shit. not alone. Already? Oh, shit. 
Sir, are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. Ah, what did I do? Alfred's family. Let me think, let me think. If I go to Wayne Enterprises, I can stop Penguin and get my tech back. But Alfred could get absolutely murked. They wouldn't kill Alfred, would they? Surely not. No, fuck it. I need to stop Penguin. Fuck it. You go to the Batcave and make sure they wouldn't kill Alfred. doesn't find it. I understand. Time to go to work. <laughs> They wouldn't kill Alfred, would they? Oh my god. <laughs> Nighty night, motherfucker. Are you there? I'm off site, but I've tapped into the security systems to give us an advantage. I can let you know where Oswald's guards are and which routes are clear. Oh, what Certainly an absolute you can chat! Penguin's black box when we're in the lab. I can do that too. Avoid that hallway. More guards ahead. Go right. Wait. Drones ahead. <laughs> Turn around. Head for the elevator. Shit. I'm opening the doors. Now. Shit. Surely, surely. Opening the doors now. Surely I can absolutely take a shit on it. <laughs> they got spawn nice pick. They got spawn they pick. Oswald is in my office. Naturally. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn, damn I gave him double heavy. pink eye. Useless. You, you're all bloody useless! Hey, it's the Baron Deadman! Well, if it ain't the biggest bleeding pleasure to see your sour mug again. Glow while you can, Cobblepot. I'm taking you down. Mm, yeah, I don't think so. In fact, I think it's you who's gonna get beat by me. I'm pretty good in a fight, you know. Been in a few scuffles here and there. You pretty seem pretty confident about that. Yeah. He's well, pretty I good am. in a fight, but look at his eyes. You know, I like your style, Batman. I really do. But you're really starting to be a pain in the ass. The children of Arkham are going to walk all over this city. And there isn't anyone who can stop us! Not even you! But this company, under my expert stewardship, with the technology being developed, we can control nations. Spare me the chatter, Cobblepot. Afraid not, mate. This has been in the making for a long, long time. Of course it has. You know, Wayne was thinking too small. He was only tinkering around. So focused on consumer technology. Lady uh -oh. Arkham, she has vision. That's <laughs> Oh, I see. It helps you plan things out ahead of time. Neat trick, though. Pretty flashy for someone who only wears black. How? Not just for fashion. It's very functional. Face it, Batman. You're outmatched. Without your tech, you're just a man in a pointy ear costume. Yeah, which no you fucking martial stop. arts. Watch me. Whoa! Whoa, why are you feeling like? Come on, 
on, Batman. Show me what you got. Okay. Show, show me what you got. My turn. It's just a drone. Destroy it. You're pathetic. I didn't even know the elevator was even there. Oh, I thought I hit that. Yeah, that little butte is almost done hacking your precious network. That's the device. A few more minutes. All your secrets are mine. I will stop you before that happens. Oh shit! This how it feels when you put That's the head. thing from Fortnite! I like it! He's got the gauntlet from Fortnite! Toys now, bad. Not really. This is the start of a new legacy, and I'm afraid you don't have any place in it. Wrench. <laughs> it's time to dominate the Red Owen. I would have ripped his armor. I would have done a bone. I'd be breaking every bone in his body right now. Did he really just pick up a hammer? Yeah, no, I'd uh, swing it out his head. You absolute bastard. Yeah, cheeky bastard. Break his kneecaps. Break his fucking kneecaps. Yes. Oh, you psycho! This isn't the end, Batman. Yeah, this you is your can't fault. Stop us. It didn't have to be like this, Oswald. You should have given up when you had the chance. Give up? Oh, I've already won. Now you can do whatever you want to me. But Lady Arkham's plans are already in motion. Yeah, of course they are. Where is she? What is she planning? The message is the same as it's ever been. We will open your eyes. The city's hypocrisy will be exposed. Tell me where to find her. Piss off. Okay. I'm not telling you anything. Tell me. I won't tell you. Do you worst? Okay, well, you just lost everything. Um. No, knock him out. I don't want to hear a word from him. He can shut the fuck up. Now to go save Alfred. Yo, if Alfred's dead, then I swear. What the? Just cut me down, mate. See, this is what I, I'd be doing in this situation, right? Oh, yeah, the place gets burnt down. GG's. See, I what I'd be doing, since the board the, of the Wayne Enterprise kicked me out, kicked Bruce Wayne out, what I'd be doing... Sorry. They kicked really me out for a fucking criminal. What, what I'd be doing is that I'd be... Everyone's gotta go. The whole board's Just gotta go. Tell him Wayne put up a fight. <laughs> Everyone's gotta go. Even Regina. She's gotta go. Everyone's going. <laughs> Am I based? 
I agree to Archer. Just owe him the favor. Well, I guess one of the choices like most people want to go. Oh, okay, people. Okay. So next time.